Welcome back students. I hope you must have seen the previous video where we have explained all the connections regarding this particular practical which is uh, to visualize the output of a decade counter on seven segment display. Let us directly come to our libraries and as per the practical as I told you the first thing we need is 7493. So you can see here once you press 7493 in keywords you will get 74LS93IC which is a 4 bit ripple counter it is an asynchronous counter I already explained it to you then the second thing we need in the practical is 7447 and again you would see here 74LS47 uh, this is 7447 it is a BCD to 7 segment decoder so we need this one also the third thing we need is the 7 segment display so you will write in the keywords 7 segment then you will look out for common anode so there are various colors available blue green red and so on so i am going for red color 7 segment common anode and the next thing we need is a clock so you can write here clock and uh, here it is written clock in the active mode so that one also we need and at the input we need something as toggle so you will write down the keyword toggle and you will also bring this in the library so you have to press ok every time uh, you want any particular component <clears throat> so already i am having all these things here so uh, as per the previous video what connections you have learnt in the previous video let us implement it one by one over here the first thing i need is the counter so this is my counter 7493 then I need a decoder and also I need a 7 segment display and the connections are very simple as you can see here it is already in order the pins of these ICs you can see it is random it is connected in such a way that your connections become very easy so what i am connecting right now is a b c d e f g to a b c d e f g of seven segment and similarly you see here the four outputs of a counter and uh, they would be connected to a b c d of uh, a decoder ic so this is also done and again if you will uh, see the connections in the previous video I have told you there that pin number 12 and pin number 1 they are to be short circuited simply because the QA that is the output of the first stage has to act as a clock for the second stage and originally the clock is given at pin number 14 because that is where clock for LSB is given so we will bring clock so we will bring clock and I will connect it to pin number 14 you can click on it and you can see it is already 1 hertz so I don't need to change it then furthermore I have told you already in the previous video these three buttons that is lamp test, ripple blanking input and the blanking input they must be all connected to BCC so what I will do is I will connect it to VCC that is 1 and same thing I need here it is a common anode so VCC connection must be there now what is left is this uh, reset pins I told you in the previous video here basically there is a NAND gate and for that NAND gate to reset it to reset this counter at uh, 9 at 10 sorry what we need to do is we need to connect it to QD and QB so uh, we are ready with all the uh, inputs now once we have done all the connections we would save it and then we would run it so what I am expecting is after every one uh, second this output must change so let us run it so 
so the simulation has started and you can see here after every one second the display is showing you the numbers starting from 0 to 9 and you see after 9 it is again 0 the reason is very simple because uh, you can see it here so this is all regarding tactical number 7 so I hope you can make this design on your own also on the Proteus software in case you are having some doubts you can ask them in the comment section I would be happy to answer so I will see you in the next video God bless you all and thank you